So speaking about uh, uh, scary, scary stuff that had to be removed, uh, Stay Pretty, No Pity mm. had no gore in it. No gore. Absolutely no. It <laughs> does have a little tattoo of yours, though. Because oh, yeah. at one point when uh, there's a scene when you fall on the floor oh, in, the, yeah. in, the, in the bathroom, we see your mm -mm. Sayaka tattoo. Oh, yes. Tattoo. That, but that was just that small scene, right? Yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. just very small. We have no back tattoo or oh, anything yeah, yeah. like that. True. But uh, yeah, uh, speaking of that, do you have any uh, questions about uh, about that, Dan? Because now you have the, the writer and director and you have the star <laughs> of uh, Stay Pretty, No Pity right in front of you. Do you have any, uh, any, any questions? Well, obviously it's when are we going to get the full version? When is yeah. when are we going to have the the proper eighty minute version coming out? That I think that's the biggest question. And Ooh. I know the two of you are dying to to shoot the whole thing as well. That is true. Mm -hmm. uh, we do hope to make it a hundred minute movie, uh, not a eighty one. So oh. it's uh, supposed to be a. a, a, a a fairly long movie. The script the, is already written. It's like a uh, hundred pages long, so that's should be around a hundred minutes. But I also mm -hmm. know that it always could be a little longer because some scenes take some time. Because, mm -hmm. for instance, uh, we shot this. Um, this short we shot is more like a proof of concept. It's like a sizzle reel to show what the actual movie will be, and in order to get people interested and to get people in, uh, invested and on board, in order to make uh the 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 full version let's say and uh with this short version uh we shot uh for a nine page script but i already noticed in the edit that some scenes were prolonged and other scenes were basically cut so there was actually more material but it still ended up to be nine minutes even after we cut the material because in the edit we needed more scenes to last it longer because of the atmosphere and because of the timing. It just needed to breathe more. So we, we edited more time in there. And then I believe in that way, the 100 minute version probably is also gonna be a little bit longer mm -hmm. um, than, uh, than the script is, because I noticed that some of the scares will probably need extra buildup more than it has in the script, let's say. Because in the script, it's like one sentence, but when you're there, when you're doing it, it just, you know, you you play with it, you you loop it, you you uh, uh, show a little longer than the one sentence in your script. So, Maria, I've never met Wilco in real life. We've only ever met, uh, you know, this way. So, oh. what's he like in person? In real life, yeah. <laughs> in oh, real my. life, yeah. Oh, yeah. um. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, am I? How am I? You know, what is my personality? Do I scream all the time? Am no. I abusive on set? No, actually, no. It was well since the movie was really short, so mm. we only had a few days at the shooting days. But no shouting. No, that's true. I, I didn't. I don't shout. I'm very. No, but then it was. It was really nice because. Um, for example, when we were shooting at the scene, you would like explain it like in details mm. and then it was all in English. So it was like kind of like, you know, easier for me to like listen. And then when I didn't have, I didn't know what to do. We could like, you know, just like talk out the details on that yeah. point. And then we would like shoot it again. And then even though like, um, very specific yes. in small details. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what I noticed. So I'm anal? <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. why is everybody laughing? How here? Yeah. Like... But that's okay. a good thing, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, like you know, even those small details you would notice that other mm. people wouldn't notice. So you would like, you would just like suddenly cut this scene, and I was like, "Why? What did I do wrong?" But then you were like, "No, that cup has to be like straight." I oh, was like, it's shit. Mm. No, I think that's really nice. So Maria, <laughs> if, if we've got uh, Wilco here and Tomamatsu here. <laughs> I'm not answering that. Oh, damn it. <laughs> because the answer is Tomamatsu. That's why. <laughs> no. Yeah, you, um, do, you have to be, kind of take care of my heart. <laughs> so, so Maria, <laughs> Maria did you go. see the makeup of the ghost before uh you before shooting or was the first time you saw the makeup when she appeared in the mirror oh before 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 i actually okay. was there while they were putting her True. makeup yeah we did a test and mm -hmm, she saw the mm -hmm, test mm -hmm. although 
the, the, the test was not a full makeup. I think it was without the droopy eye. Mm. So there was still, when she saw the full version, it was for the first time in the outfit with the, oh, the yeah. prosthetic on it. So, um, but she did see the, the test makeup we did yeah. with the makeup artist. That's true. That was scary already, the test yeah. makeup. The test makeup, yeah. But yeah. then it was like the full version with the wig and the whole outfit. Oh my god, oh. I still remember like before in between shoots, like the girl would be like, you know, kind of like playing around and like mm. kind of like scared me from the behind. And I was like, please <laughs> go away. <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> well, now it's nice to know. So every time that Maria's on set, she says, go away. I like to punch someone. <laughs> and I <laughs> so that's am I the bully here? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but yeah, it is that's, funny. That's the yeah. notes I've got. But it's the funny thing is that the, the actress who played uh, Oiwa-san, the ghost, is very. She was very playful herself. So very. she was making jokes and mm. she was walking around like uh, like a normal, you know, just yeah. just making like uh, practical jokes around. Was the she set, like so tapping that... Maria on the left shoulder, and then when Maria turns around, yeah. she's actually on the right shoulder. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> she did that. I was like, please. I hate when ghosts do that. I also really know with the scenes with the jump scares that Maria had a, had a tough time because she had to be so close to the face yeah. of the makeup of the scary girl, <laughs> let's say, with that the makeup really on. Hard. That was really hard. And then every time, I think. I think the, a lot of what you feel in this scene is just her anticipating having to turn around to see it. So <laughs> in the film, it's sh it's supposed to be a surprise for everyone and also for her. But I think the the most of the tension you feel is her anticipating seeing the ghost while turning around, like knowing yeah. it's there, knowing I have to. And then also, of course, that the actress has to scream in her face, mm -mm -mm. which is all fun and games. But that's what like directors like to do. We like torment our actors. Oh my god! You know that. So, so Maria, maybe this is not specific to stay pretty, no pity, but maybe more to all the films that you've ever done. But would you prefer to shoot a movie in English or in Japanese? Mm. Like, what would be more comfortable for you? Probably English, I think, because mm -hmm. I notice when I speak in Japanese, I think I'm more fluent in Japanese. But when I speak Japanese, my tone gets higher. And when I speak in English, it's kind of low, like right now. Mm -hmm. My voice is kind of like low voice. Yeah, so you have a but, Western tough girl voice. But yeah. then if you become Japanese, you're very yeah! nice. So I, I really look stupid. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I prefer um, English movies. All right. If and can say. And, and this movie... This movie will be shot in English, right? We'll cut. Yes. Mm. Well, the the film itself is going to be completely English because the lead is going to be, uh, you know, a speaking English and and um, the most the main characters, let's say. However, because it's in Japan and there will be communication with Japanese characters, those will all be done in Japanese. So it will be dual language. Mm. But the main characters you we follow is are all going to speak English and are going to be from the you know American, let's say, They're going to be uh, and American characters. And by main character, you mean Maria? Um, oh, um, oh, 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 that's oh. Not what Ready. I was expecting. <laughs> should, should, should you go? Okay, I go? so we'll bring someone else in now. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> now, uh, when we uh, contacted uh, Maria, we wanted really wanted to make this movie, and we were looking at the best the the the, the parts that will 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 fit best character wise. Let's say, and the thing is, is that the lead is kind of a pushover. But then we had this other character called Lucy, which is a um, not the main character, but the sub character, let's say. Okay. That one is so fashionable and uh, a little bitchy. Yeah. And I think that that yeah. also fits that a little one. well. It's like very much her own and is um, going through this thing where she has to be, I call that a little bit more uh, uh, fragile than she mm -hmm. normally would be. And which is also what we're trying to experiment with, which is a good... Uh, uh, challenge for, for her as an actress but also we thought that image wise that would be the best character to fit her because um because of the the fashionableness and of course the the, the natural look that that she has uh, i believe that's also when we uh, uh i remember when you went blonde at, at this yeah. and around that time yes and i remember when we were like reading out the script yes i first said like this character really fits me well right mm -hmm. and i True. when i was reading the script i was like is this me in real life <laughs> <laughs> yeah so maybe it's a little bit too fitting in that way yeah <laughs> too much 
Yeah. So no, the the what, what we uh, tried to do with the with this film and why we made the um, this this short we made is like the opening and a little more of the film. So basically, you could see that uh, what we make afterwards, or what we're gonna make for the real film, is gonna happen mostly after this point. But the character will come back because it's like a, um, it's like she's gonna be actually in in basically half of the film. But oh, the cool, opening cool. scene is the death scene, and then then we jump a week back, and then we have the the moment that uh, she goes through it. But then the lead meets her before that time, so we have whole. Uh, whole scenes where basically there's three main characters in that way because she is a main character in that way it's just that she you know kicks the bucket halfway and um then we have still invitation the invitation only all over again is this invitation yeah. only two so maybe <laughs> this is this is the one this is invitation only two. Oh, oh dan you guessed it Shit. so so we see we brought her back we gave her a different name it is in english now um so yeah that's what we that's what we, we, we tried to do but no but the, the thing is is that also um, uh, the, the main the main character is gonna be um, um, what we want to do is really get Maria out to Hollywood that's also a goal that we have so that's why we want um, for the lead character also the male lead character we really gonna hit Hollywood actors for that and then you just can see her beside them and i think uh, that role really fits her as well plus also the whole movie will lift her career and that's basically also the plan uh what we're trying to do so that's uh, those are all the choices we ma we made um yeah so yeah dan she's not gonna be the lead lead but she's gonna be part of the three main characters I I'm just wondering if Maria will play the same character in the Hollywood version of Stay Pretty, No Pity, because you know Hollywood likes to redo all the Japanese movies. There's, there's an opportunity there. Oh, like that? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Actually, wow. that's true. Yeah, mm. maybe. Uh, Definitely. Question we, right. Yes. No, no, sorry. No, no. I just want to say we just want to get her there. So as soon as she's in Hollywood, she can take any role and any chance <laughs> and anything that will she will get offered and wow. you know she will be in the biggest shows and i don't she will probably be in two big movies to do in a remake of of this <laughs> hey, as long as she's not working with a particular baldwin that's fine <laughs> oh, yeah 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 if there's a, a shoot yeah if he's shooting yeah. gun, stay away <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stay away uh, so this movie is based on the legend of uh yatsuya oi oiwa oiwa yatsuya oiwa. yeah true Maria, is there any other folklore characters uh, that you would like to make movies about? For example, like Hanako. That's... Wow. Well, Oiwa-san itself is a really, really strong character and very historical. But mm, there's so that'll... many. There's too many, like spirit-wise or historical people. Can be... Maria do a female Hoichi the Eelis? That's that she could. Hoichi, Hoichi. the Eelis. The Eelis. Yeah. Yes. Well, a lot of oh. these ghost story. Yeah, Hoichi the Eelis is, of course, the famous ghost story from the the from Kwaidan. You know the the stories written by uh, or collected by uh, what's his name? <laughs> when you uh, forgot his name. We need Walter to tell us that one. Uh, Walter will know. Yeah. Um, no, let me see. Kwaidan was written by Olaf Cario Hearn. He was like a Japanese Marco Polo, let's say. Or no, let's say a Marco Polo for Japan because he, mm -hmm. he came here, uh, he wrote about Japan, and he also made a collection of horror stories, uh, Japanese horror stories. And Huichi the Airless is uh, one of those horror stories. <gasps> Yes, he's famous. Awesome. Yes. You want me to do this? Are the you female crazy? version. Yeah, yeah, the female fun. version. Be awesome. Yeah, so you'll have all the all the drawings and the tattoos all over your all body. All over my face. And no you ears. Just lose your ears. Yeah. Well, that part's not cool. But oh uh, yeah, yeah. Everything else would be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know the story. Scary, real story. Sugoi. And that makes me reminds me of that uh, sequel we wanted to make. Remember? And then the sequel would be like, this time we didn't forget the ears, and it would be Yoshi the Dickless. <laughs> wow. I thought we were telling everyone about this. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but I, you know, just, I'm sorry. I'm so excited about that. I, 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 let's make a short about that, too. So, uh, what are you doing next week? <laughs> <laughs> what? No, well, oh, no, wait a minute. I think, 
Well, that actually, you sense. and I also talked about doing a, another Bunshin Saba versus Sadako, and I reckon Maria would be awesome in uh, in our remake of Bunshin Saba versus Sadako. You want to you want to you want to take her to China? Well, we could pretend we're in China. I wouldn't oh, want yeah, to take any of us to China, to be honest, uh, to shoot <laughs> at a movie. This moment, yeah. um, at this moment. But there's, you know, there's, um, I don't know if you know about them, but there's like this, all these uh, Oiwa Sun like or Sadako uh, like ja uh, Chinese uh, ghosts. Oh. A lot of, uh, not that they're not Chinese ghosts, but they're Chinese movies okay. made about those ghosts and they all battle together. So wow. they have Sadako versus another ghost versus another one. And at one point, what me and Dan were talking about, if we would ever make a movie together, Dan and I, we will make one of those ghost battle movies and we wow. take all the ghosts. You know what? Oiwa san can be one of them. Wow. I think so. So I we think so. We, and I think and someone is sitting next to you is putting a hand up to play Oiwa san. Huh? You want, someone you, sitting next to you. You want her to be the new Oiwa san? You have Oiwa san. Oh, you knew with all the makeup. Wow. <laughs> I just want Maria in any of the movies that we do. Oh, look, it doesn't matter. Or the fox lady? I want to do the fox, the fox lady. lady. The fox mm. lady. This one. Uh, Kokuri. Oh, yeah, you got the hmm. fox. Uh... The fox spirit. It's been like there forever in Japan. Well, how about the snow? The snow woman. Snow woman. Yuki mm. mm, I don't like the cold. No, you don't. No. You don't like the cold. <laughs> I don't like wearing kimono. You know, it's fake. Either. It's not gonna be like the bottle and the fish. We will have <laughs> fake snow. <laughs> it's not gonna be real snow. You don't have to be really cold. <laughs> But I'm thinking if she would play Oiwa san with the makeup, she wouldn't be able to look in the mirror. She will constantly freak I know, it's like, freak herself out. Like, oh. But if she plays the fox demon, she has to wear a mask. And then we don't get That's to see Maria's face. So we can't yeah, do the, that. The, yeah, the fox. Yeah. So basically, we can then, have everyone. But it's good for you. It's fun because you could trick people. No, we can have someone else play. We just put your name under it. Hey! <laughs> hey easy, right? Why? <laughs> Hey, would you do that? Yeah, because you know, I thought it would be good. You have a name, you have an extra movie you did, and you don't even have to be in it. <laughs> no, nah, Maria's an artist, Wilco. She'd never I'm, do that. I'm just trying to help. The fuck's name, yeah. But that has a mask, that's true. But I yeah. think uh, you know what? That